Why I quit Tulumbu's presidential campaign, Jibrin. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Abdul Mumin Jibrin, a top campaigner for all progressive Congress chieftain, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has given reasons for dumping the presidential campaign of the ex-governor of Lagos State. In a statement on Saturday, Jibrin said he had no choice but to quit Tirimbu's campaign after his exit from the APC2, the new Nigeria's People's Party, NNPP, led by former Kano State Governor and NNPP presidential aspirant, Rabiu Kwampasu. The former member of the House of Representatives, however, reiterated that he had no issues with Tirimbu but with Governor Abdullahi Ganduji of Kano State. In a statement titled, Why I Left the APC, Honorable Abdul Mumin Jibrin, the ex-lawmaker, said his political life has been miserable in the last seven years due to the very nature of the party's leaders in his home state. He said, In my 23 years of postgraduate experience, the last seven years were my most unremarkable so much that my long-established career almost reached the point of utter implosion. The horrifying disappointment of my past seven years revolved around his character, who is determined to destroy anybody that activates his glorifying infer inferiority complex. His sadistic instincts made him quite a frightening ally, so much that he feels the need to treat his allies as the marginalized black Africans and the apartheid era South Africans to feel a sense of superiority and misguided advantage. I dedicated everything to the political interest of this man, but I kept asking for more. The circus became too embarrassing that I had to take a step back for soul searching to redeem myself. There was a difference between service for the common good and a quest to be worshipped by one allies. You must never confuse loyalty with slavery. This man yearned for that and put me through a mentally draining phase in my life that I had to step aside to reflect on my political choices. It is unsurprising that all his political principles and lieutenants are deserting him and he risks becoming an island at the end of his stewardship. When he tried to lure me back a few days ago in a lengthy phone conversation, I asked him a question to stir up deep introspection or the demoralizing interpersonal relations. I asked if, as a father, he would want others to treat his children in the fashion he treats us, his political allies and lieutenant. At the appropriate time, I intend to discuss this viciousness of this man in detail, he added. Continuing, Gibran said, however, my exit from the APC means I've ceased to be involved in the presidential campaign of Al-Haji Bola Tanambo. The fact is, no individual can be a significant minus in Asiwaja's campaign. The campaign is armor built and designed to excel even without me. Based on the passion and dedication of a team invested in his aspiration, not even Asiwaja can stop his campaign, let alone an Abdul Mumin Jibrin. I want to appeal to the public to avoid overestimating my relevance to the team and stop the rumor and creating all sorts of theories around this matter. I have my value, but it will not take anything away from the menu I saw on the BAT campaign table. For the avoidance of doubt, let me clarify that I have no problem whatsoever with Asiwaju. We have never for once had issues. My problems were local and, my, and all politics are local. Asiwaju took sincere interest in me and gave me the free hand to participate in this project. And my exit from the party does not erase my respect for him, and belief in his capacity and vision to redeem the fortunes of Nigeria. Asawaju did his best to intervene to prevent my exit from the party, not because it would affect his campaign in any way, but for the genuine likeness he has for me. Unfortunately, wherever this man, wherever this man after my career function, I feel a sense of obligation to flee for my political safety. There is one toxicity I am no longer prepared to endure, and I do want to use this opportunity to apologize to the entire BAT family 
across the country for whatever embarrassment or inconvenience my sudden exit from the APC must have caused. I have already met Asiwaju to tender my apology and he will continue to be a father to me and his house, my home. Omo, hey, hey, eh, this is a super story. <laughs> okay, so he's coming out to say that he does not have any issues with Zinubu because, you know, when this man deflect, defected, sorry, a few days ago, we heard stories how, we heard stories that doesn't mean, is it a sign that Zinubu will also defect? I don't know people who are attacking him or telling him or maybe whispering or s spreading rumors that he has problem. I don't think so. I don't want to believe he has problem with this man. But even if he has, mm, it is not our concern. Yes, it does not concern at this point. Kokoa is none of our business. Please. Okay. The truth is, you could not defend so many questions put across to you regarding your boss, Tunbu. And so, the fact you will not be able to market him properly, so they push you aside. I hope you can still defend Oga Tunbu from your new party. <laughs> People, eh? But do you think your political career and aspirations could be given a shape if Tunbu makes it to the presidency through the contribution of vocal efforts along with others? Don't you think Tunbu, upon successful election victory, would not relieve packages to cushion Whatever you have suffered from Gandhiji alleged huge money. Do you also think Tinubu will desert you if he wins? Answer those questions if you really believe in the cause Tinubu is pursuing and you are sincerely sure he'll win the election. People are asking for too much. Yeah, 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 I like a key. You people like story. Ah. You can imagine the frustration and pain this statement would have evoked from certain segments of a society. Instead of his honest explanation of what really transpired, they instead pivoted to ethnic shenanigans and genuine verbiage. How does that solve the problem of Nigeria? You can quit and unquit and that is your thorough. Sincerely, it does not concern us. Eh? People who are asking for this information, I hope you are now happy. Because like me, somebody like me, I don't care. I'm, a, I'm not an APC member. I'm not an NNPP member. I don't care to know what transpired. Sincerely, at this point, it is not going to make Nigeria better. We have other issues on ground. In fact... This is not supposed to be giving so much attention at this at a time like this we have a religious war that is taking like a time bomb in our hands if we do not address this issue if we do not address the religious issue it is just like we're sitting on a time bomb that is going to explode any minute okay you have attack in sokoto and this is what you're posting for us to deliberate on what is the news from sokoto useless media <laughs> People are coming out to state the grievances. Okay, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And so I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.